Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be going over sort of this new uh, announcement of the PSP OS. So without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> So PSPOS was a project that I started in 2015 when I was 13 years old. Obviously this code isn't really great uh, and it was pretty awful, uh, but let's go ahead and look at what the application has to offer to you. So currently it just sort of loads you up into this BIOS type boot screen uh, and basically you have two options, Iridescence OS, which is <laughs> spelled incorrectly, uh, Windows XP, and then uh, basically it has a boot menu. And in this boot menu, you can't even change anything, uh, but it just sort of displays some of the uh, properties of the system, uh, and it's actually kind of cool to look at. Given this, also movement uh, through the menus this is extremely buggy, uh, and basically you can go ahead and go and select things. Uh, so for example, if you select Iridescence OS, what it does is that it basically is just gonna do this loading screen. Uh, and as it goes across this loading screen that does actually nothing, uh, it eventually leads you to this screen that says, Sorry, due to restrictions, this feature has not been implemented. I'm not sure what restrictions they were, but it was probably my mental restrictions as a 13 year old. Uh, but anyways, uh, basically this is the same process for Windows XP. So if we go ahead and boot into that, you're going to see the same sort of thing. And this was sort of a sort of joke OS that I sort of made, uh, and I actually wanted to make something a little bit more complicated with something more useful, but uh, just going through the code, uh, it's definitely 13 year old me's code, uh, seeing that 90% of everything is just completely written uh, in the main.cpp file, so it's literally one C++ file that controls the entire thing. Uh, which is awful code formatting, of course. Furthermore, all it's doing is basically drawing uh, using the debug text, which isn't necessarily the right way to, you know, work with the screen and stuff like that either. So on this o April Fool's Day, I hope you guys really enjoy this sort of project, and you can go check it out at the SourceForge link in the description. I, uh, I wasn't even... Uh, old enough to use GitHub, or I didn't really understand how to use GitHub, so I just uploaded my code onto SourceForge, of all things. But in further sort of announcements and a lot more of a serious sort of context, uh, Project Dawn was one of the projects that I announced at uh, basically the PSP Homebrew Developer Conference. And I'm kind of glad to say that I'm probably going to be uh, doing something with uh, sort of Project Dawn. Project Celeste was the sort of web browser sort of thing that I saw, uh, and a lot of people really want uh, Project Celeste, uh, but I was thinking that if I do Project Dawn, which was the also the second most uh, wanted thing, uh, it's basically going to be some sort of UI wrapper or OS type thing for the PSP with its own sort of integratable systems, so you can basically have an API where you can integrate another application into it. This way you can really do some more things, uh, complicated things. So I was thinking that maybe it would be possible to sort of integrate uh, Celeste into sort of the overall Project Dawn. So given that, on a serious note, I am actually going to probably be starting Project Dawn sometime later this year, and it's going to be a pretty cool adventure. So if you guys have stuck around for this little announcement, uh, I'm also going to be doing some Minecraft PSP, uh, sort of just going through profiling and seeing what really needs done today. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.